Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifty, and sparkly eyeshadows. And today I have another neutral palette to show you. This palette is full of really beautiful shimmers though. This is also my first time trying out this brand and that is Indie Beat Cosmetics. And this is their Platinum Hits 2 palette. They do have a previous one that is much more colorful. When I saw this palette, I thought it was an amazing idea to do a neutral all shimmer palette. There are 18 eyeshadows, so it is a larger palette. And I think my sweet spot for all shimmer palettes are really nine pans but there is an amazing assortment i love that the top row is all iridescent duochrome shifty shades and then after that we have some neutral shades we have a pop of a purple duochrome oh my goodness this shade is so so beautiful and then there's some greens as well as this stunning orange now most of these do have a very similar formula they are on the very very emollient side they feel super super smooth they look smooth on the lid some of them pick up just a little bit chunky such as lose yourself and blurred lines have a different texture from these other four iridescent shades which i didn't realize when i bought it because they are just not as sparkly and shiny they're a bit more on the satin side now this palette is 69 dollars i don't know why i thought it was 66 dollars for some reason but i bought it during the black friday sale so i got it on sale and i believe the coupon took it down to like 33 or 36 dollars somewhere around there and then the shipping was almost seven dollars so i ended up paying 53 dollars for this palette which seems like a lot but you have a lot of shades and a lot of really really beautiful duochromes basically multi-chromes and just super dimensional shades shades that I really felt like it was worth it and we'll put up the swatches I couldn't fit them all on my arm so I try to group them kind of by color so the iridescent shades with the neutrals and then all the greens together which I think it's nice to see them all together and seeing the varieties so I'm going to be creating four looks with this palette and then at the end of the video I'll give you some of my thoughts so let's get right into it I'm priming with the Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer and I'm going to be using my Burnovich shadows so first going in with N07 in the crease and this one just take a little bit to build up because it is it's more of a pastel. Next I'm going in with N09 and I'm going to be creating a halo eyes. So I'm pressing that into my inner corner and outer corner and then I'm going to start slowly blending it upwards. I really want to make sure I don't blow it out too much so I'm using a really small brush and just taking my time to blend it out. I'm also bringing this under my lower lash line and taking it only about halfway. With my finger, I'm just going to tap on Starboy right in the center of my lid and I'm going to put in the majority of the pigment right in the center and then just whatever is left of my finger, tap in it in the edges of that. Make sure that it's blended, there's no harsh edges. And I am taking it up into my crease just a little bit and I'm putting N07 under the rest of my lower lash line. For the inner corner highlight, I'm using Dark Horse. To finish the look, I put on the Blessed Lashes from Kiss and in the waterline, I have the Multichrome Liner from Donna Samarics in Lilac Quartz and here's the first finished look. For the second look, I already primed with the Juvia's Place Primer and I'm going in with Burnovich N05. And putting that right into the crease I'm not taking it all the way down on the other end and I'm going in with N03 to just deepen it up a little bit and blending those two together next going in with 112 and I'm gonna take that on the outer corner and just pat it on and then slowly start blending it out I'm gonna take that under my lower lash line only about halfway Next, I'm taking Lose Yourself and I'm going to do a fake half cut crease. I didn't put down any glitter primer or anything. I just dampened the brush, but I definitely think that a glitter primer would have helped a lot. I think it would have helped stick it down a lot better. And then under that, I'm going in with Disturbia. And I'm leaving the inner lid portion empty because I'm going to put Poker Face there. Just trying to layer all the greens. And then on the inner corner, going in with Blurred Lines. I finished the look off with Blessed Lashes from Kiss and in the waterline I have the Danessa Merrick's Multichrome Liner in Lemon Quartz and here is the second finished look. <music> Prime with 
priming with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go in with 94 from Burnovich. I'm just gonna put that right into my crease. I'm gonna make this a more neutral look. We're gonna use some warmer shades. And then on the other eye for the fourth look, I am planning on doing some cool tones from the palette. Next, I'm going in with 196 from Burnovich. And I'm gonna use this to create a wing. And taking it under my lower lash line as well. But I'm not going to take it all the way. I'm going to really wing it out. Just going to go for it. I'm going to thicken this up just a little bit. Picking up Grenade on my finger. Just going to swipe it on pretty much all over the lid. I'm going to take it just a little bit into my crease. I don't want any harsh edges. I want this to be nice and smoothed out in my crease as well. That is such a beautiful shade. Definitely see a dual chrome shifty effect in this color. And then for the inner corner, I'm using a radioactive. Here's the third finished look. I put on the Randy Lashes from Huda Beauty. And in the waterline, I have the Good Reef pencil from ColourPop. Priming with the Natasha Denona shadow primer. I'm gonna do a similar look I did on this side, except with cool tones. So I'm going in with 147 from Burnovich, and I'm gonna pop that right into the crease. Okay, pigment. I seriously love these matte eyeshadows so, so much. And I'm taking 112, and I'm gonna create an eyeshadow wing with this shade. The shade is more olivey, Versus the crease shade is more gray. Taking it under my lower lash line, but not all the way across. Going in with the NYX Glitter Primer, I'm gonna create a half cut crease. I'm gonna take it down, down into the liner. Going in with a Say Something. Ooh, this is such an interesting shade. The shade looks definitely better on the lid than in the pan. I feel like in the pan, it had an interesting tone to it, but it wasn't necessarily like exciting me. I'm gonna take blurred lines above that. That's kind of an interesting mixture. Just to highlight that section, create contrast up there. I don't know if this is my best uh, decision here, but I kind of wish I had used super base, but it's interesting. I mean, at least it's purple and it's not like too warm, warm toned. I'm going to take Lose Yourself as my inner corner highlight since there's a little bit of green in that taupey shade. Wow. So in an attempt to try to pull this look together, I'm going to go in with this shade N12 from Burnovich and I'm gonna put it under my lower lash line. And this is just going to tie in my lower lash line with that pink shade, pinky purple shade. I do think that that helps. Here's the fourth finish to look. I put on the Randy Lashes from Huda Beauty and in the waterline I have Good Reef from ColourPop. Overall, I really, really like this palette a lot. I like the color story. Even though it's an all shimmer palette, it's not necessarily about the color story, but I really like the mixture of some of the more neutral shades with the greens as well. So you just have a little bit of a variety for days that you might feel like spicing it up a little bit. And then again, just the iridescent row at the top. The only thing is I am a little bummed about these four shades not being as impactful and shimmery and sparkly as Lose Yourself and Blurred Lines. They just don't have the same texture. They're still really beautiful and amazing for an inner corner under the brow highlight as well as on the cheeks but I would have preferred for them to be like these other shades. Starboy is 
such a beautiful shade. This is one of my favorite kind of shades, I think. I don't even think I have a dupe to this. It is just so dimensional. There's a lot happening. I do think I might already have some of these shades in other palettes from other brands, and I might be doing a comparison video. Let me know if you would like to see that, but I just couldn't keep doing a comparison over and over and over between all the different brands and all the palettes. It would just take too long, and I think it would be a bit redundant if I did that in every video. So those are my thoughts on the palette. I had a really, really amazing time with it, and I will definitely be reaching more for it because I just love being able to come in here and pair all these together. I almost forgot to mention, but some of the shades are leaking into the packaging and they actually already came like that. For example, Grenade and Starboy were already leaking and now it looks like Disturbia is and potentially Lose Yourself. It just seems like it's traveling. So I'm gonna have to make sure I store this laying down versus up. I've had palettes do this from numerous different brands before. Well, it's not a big deal. It really just has to do with, you know, it's not aesthetically pleasing anymore, but I did just wanna mention it. So that's everything think about this video let me know in the comments below if you bought this palette or maybe the first palette that they released i would love to hear your thoughts and if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribe there's so much any makeup content uploading my channel and much more to come you don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time